and here we go against Matt's Rock, and it's a metal deck, so we'll see what happens here. Um, I think just against the Dancing V deck, you want to go first because you don't want them to. Okay, I think I play one copy of the Denny in the deck, and of course I start it. You know, I couldn't start an Inke or what? I play a bunch of tag teams. I play the Mewtwo and Mew. I play Lunala Prism. That would have been a great starter. Uh, nope, start the Denny, of course. And it's the it's the big elephant version of the deck. Uh, good news here is that I can do that. How many Denny do I have? Yep, just the one. And I started it. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I'll get to use Lunar Fall GX, hopefully at some point. Uh, that's the good news. And I'll get rid of the Incineroar. I'll talk about Incineroar in just a second. Uh, yeah, turn one, no ink, no nothing. The Incineroar, I mean, Crushing Punch does 130 and you discard a special energy from your opponent's active. I just thought that was good. You know, there's a whole bunch of special energy running around. And Darkest Tornado, I mean, I said I'd use Lunar Fall GX, but Darkest Tornado is a really good GX attack. I mean, you have a few damage counters on you, and you can knock out anything. So it's really good. And I wonder what they're going to get. Do they play Lucario and Melmetal? Uh, they play Cobalion. Okay. I like Cobalion because Iron Rule GX says your opponent can't attack. Oh, that makes me think there's a Magnazone in here. Because otherwise you'd just Metal Saucer. And there's Frying Pan. See? Oh, okay. Why do you want my Mewtwo and Mew in the active? That seems... Okay, so you want to deal some damage to it. Well, I'm going to switch into Dedenny, because I don't care if you knock that thing out. Um, okay. This is interesting. So, can I do anything with two energy in this deck? I don't quite remember. Um, well, let's Cherish Ball first. Two energy. I mean, I could Star Search. I don't want to Star Search. Uh, I could Pale Moon GX. That would be hilarious. But again, I can't because of the rules I put on myself. Um, so I'm thinking this is going to be a Malamarless game. Uh, I can't send out Lunala Prism because that would put them on three prizes. I guess I just go for Trevenant and Dust Noir. So this is pretty much just going to be manually attaching all day long. And that is not great. Um, do I ditch the Pale Moon GX, dude? Um, I destroy another Mewtwo and Mew, and then I can do whatever. Uh, I think so. Is my Island Challenge Amulet in the deck? It is. That is something you'll be seeing a lot in a lot of these decks with the Pokemon GX. I just throw it in there to try and help. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just grab another Mewtwo and Mew here. Not going to see that uh, the Ink and Malamar in game one, at least. So I'll attach there. Uh, the escape board doesn't really matter. So they knock out the Dedenny. That's fine. I don't think Lunala Prism should ever see the bench either, even with the Island Challenge Amulet. I think I want to keep these Mewtwo and Mews. Uh, oh, that's fun. So what I might do is if they go and grab another Zacian, then I might... Okay, grab another Q fan. Oh yeah, that could be really annoying. Uh, don't want to see that. Um, hmm. And so the research is going to have to get me an energy. That's going to be really important. Uh, I can just lunar fall to Zation V, but that doesn't really seem like what's the point, right? I think I should just night watch. Oh, they used Intrepid Sword. That is interesting. They're going to regret that one. Unless I don't get an energy, then they're going to be like, ha ha ha. Uh, and I didn't get an energy. Great. How is that even possible? Really don't want to put this Jirachi down, but I mean, what other option do I have? Um, I think I just keep doing what I'm doing, right? Uh, I'll grab the Cosmic Burn dude. I don't play Tool Scrapper, so that would be annoying, but I think that makes sense. Put Slagalia and Lunala. 
Um, I don't want it to take a hit. I don't have an energy. Like, come on. Right, how much energy do I play in this deck? Giving them an extra turn. I don't know why they attach the energy. I guess if I if I whiff a knockout, then they can retreat off the energy and then switch back into it. There's them as Empress V. That's fine. There's the frying pans. So there's Brave Blade. Okay, so I'm getting an energy now. Uh, I don't think Sordalia and Lunala should ever be on the field. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I can't bench anything. This is horrible. I can't bench anything because they can just knock it out. Um, I don't think I play scoop up net. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm, there's no way I whiff I, an energy again, right? Okay, thank you. Um, so there you go. And I think I just night watch, you know? I put damage on the Zacian. I... I mean, I could... No. I think I just night watch, because then... Because then if they use Metal Saucer and they try to, like, build up another one, then I can Lunar Fall that one. See, because they can't attack right now. Like, that, let, they have to have a switch in their hand. And that is very not likely. And even if they have a switch in their hand, they're not knocking out the Mewtwo and Mew. So I'm not terribly worried. And if they retreat and try to save this thing, uh, then I Lunar Fall. Or I can, I can Night Watch again. You know, it doesn't really matter. But that will bring me to another card I think I should have added. Yeah, so I'm just going to retreat. And hopefully they don't have a switch. I just put the energy back. That's fine. But something I wanted to talk about is if you want to add something, the sniping Naginatal GX would be really good in here. Uh, you know, you do the 150 with Night Watch, they retreat, uh, and then you can just snipe them, and that'd be really good. So I think I just. I don't think I really want to worry about building anybody else up. I don't definitely don't want to Marnie them. So I'll just go grab the Sordialio and Lunala. Uh, Tag Purge wouldn't be bad either. Uh, so yeah, just Professor's Research. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm in a tough spot here because they're just going to full metal wall. And if they do that, maybe it does make sense to put the Lunala Prism down, because then they have a full bench. Uh, I think I just Night Watch again. You know, just leave them without a hand. And... But I... Oh man, this is the negative side of Marnie. Okay, so... You're an Intrepid Sword. Okay, so now maybe Marnie's a good idea. But I also have a great catcher in the deck. Okay, I'm just gonna start thinning the deck here. Let's let's get rid of some things. Let's get rid of the Latios. Uh, I have great catcher. I have boss's orders. Like you're seeing these cards, they're in my deck. I had a Viridian. I had I have energy. These cards are in the deck. And I'll just grab something else and I'll put it on the bottom of my deck. But this is the question: Do I put the Lunala Prism down? Oh man, I think I think I just have to hold off. I'm sure I'll see it again at some point. There's a great catcher. Um, it's not the greatest thing to see right now, but um, hmm. I really want a lunar fall, but I don't want a lunar fall preemptively. I can put some damage on the Cabalion. Oh man, this is a tough choice here. Uh, I think I just Lunar Fall. I'll just Lunar Fall. You want to see Lunar Fall? You're going to see Lunar Fall. There you go. Civilization V. Now I'm definitely regretting that Marnie, but you know, I, I definitely made some misplays this game. Okay, so with that, maybe they won't full metal wall. Uh, I guess they're just gonna get another cop Raja or something. Yeah, okay. And I will mention Danger on Mimikyu. It's also something you could add. Uh, Vitality Ban, Big Charm, some way to deal with Pikaram, like a Shrine of Punishment or something. Uh, a Tool Scrapper wouldn't be a bad idea. 
But if you want to make all those changes to this deck, you'd have to take out Lunology X, where there it is. You'd have to take this out, and that, you know, goes against the purpose of the deck. So that's why they're not in here. But this definitely won't be the last Mewtwo and Mew deck that I build, obviously. You know, or the last Malamar deck. You know, I'm going in chronological order with these sets. Okay. So I think what I do is, no, just tag purge is, it's not effect, it's just damage. So I think I, I great capture the Cobalion, that doesn't make sense. I can great capture the Duderson. Then they'll full metal wall, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think I just want to put some damage on this guy. I'll night watch. Sure. And it's going to be a three shot on this thing. But I'm putting them in a position where they have to make a decision here. You know, what do they want to do? Because if they full metal wall, they're not doing any damage. And I can just, what, star search? Oh, Jirachi's not in there. Whoops. Well, I can retreat. Yeah, they full metal wall, that's fine. Put all my energy in there. Totally okay with that. Um, so, some skateboard, retreat, and then I will tag purge. And a whole 40 damage right there, that's, that's great. But I mean, they can't do anything. I'm just gonna, Tag Purge, turn after turn, and they can't do anything. And I have a switch, my hand is perfect. You know, if they start to, if they build up a hand of anything, I'll just use Night Watch. So right now, they're taking 80 less damage, which is kind of insane. Uh, with Resistance, Metal Frying Pan, and Full Metal Wall, they're taking 80 less damage, and that's crazy. Uh, they seem to get his HMZ, I would, Recommend against that. See, this is why I wanted to say full metal wall. I, I gave into the pressure of everyone watching the video. Like, they want to see a lunar fall. They're going to get a lunar fall. Okay, so if I get an energy, I can knock it out. Uh, definitely not going to marry them. This hand is perfect. Uh, so if I night watch, that's going to be 80 damage. So I have to tight purge one more time. And then I can bosses, night watch. And we'll be good. Uh, are they just going to retreat? Or are they going to intrepid sword? Okay, so yeah, I've won. There's no way they can knock out the Mewtwo and Mew. Wow, they're getting really lucky off these intrepid sword. Like how many... How many energy does this deck play? Okay, uh, sure, you want to you wanna go join in here, Jirachi? Go for it. And I will Night Watch for knockout. Oh yeah, look at that. 70 damage Night Watch. And Galarian Stun Fist. Okay. And you're sort of seeing how the deck is supposed to perform. You know, this is how it's supposed to perform. You Lunar Fall a threat on the bench, and then you just Night Watch all day long, and they don't have a hand, and even a deck that should have an okay matchup against you uh, just can't really do anything. You know, I, I do think they need to cut out some of the things like the, I mean, Stunfisk is good for like a stall card, but the elephants, I mean, I'll check their deck list, but they, they better be playing the Sordalio Prism. And there's Kaparaja, and where is it? There it is, Cosmic Burn, 230. I don't care about your full metal wall, do I? Okay. Oh, I do play two to Denny. Well, there you go. What are the odds of that? That I start at a Denny and my last prize is at a Denny. And do they play the Solgaleo? They do not play the Solgaleo Prism. I'm very upset at you, Mets Rock. You gotta be playing that Solgaleo Prism. And you can't rely, you can't have this many metal Pokemon with these high attack costs and no Solgaleo Prism. So I highly recommend adding Solgaleo Prism to a metal box deck. It just helps you get energy into play. Though, against me, it wouldn't really have made a difference because I didn't really bench anybody. Uh, game two time.
Alrighty, let's see what we got here. I think I went first last time, so I'll go second this time just to see if there's any difference. And that would have been a great starting hand if I actually had a Pokemon. You know, I only play like 18 to 20 Pokemon, and there's a pretty good starter. So what I can do, I can do a few things here. I can Star Search turn one. I really like using Star Search. Uh, as long as I'm not playing a deck that can beat me, because I do not play Weakness Guard. Uh, is it Baby Bo Oh, it's Baby Blissevalon. Okay, so uh, I need to get Night Watch off as soon as possible here. Yes, I'll draw an extra card. That's fine. Card Heatran. That's fine. Um, it's Baby Blissevalon. I got their scoop up nets. You know, it's it's a little weird going from metal deck oh that's interesting this is where Gengar and Mimikyu would come into play but obviously I had to take that out to make room um yeah I think I just Viridian that away get that uh do that get the Jirachi GX uh maybe I shouldn't have Viridian that energy now that I think about it, uh, I could Marnie them, but what's the point of that, right? They had nothing going on. They probably have like Welder, Fiery Flint or something. Um, I can't take a knockout this turn, which is good. Uh, I might have to Miraculous Duo, which would be unfortunate. Yeah, Gengar and Mimikyu would have been perfect in this. Oh, okay. So yeah, Heatran, what? Are they just saving that for later? I really don't want a Miraculous Duo, but what other option do I have? Um, their hand's just gonna be fire energy. So if I Nightwatch them, they're gonna be in real trouble. You know, I, I wouldn't mind using Great Catcher on the Oracorio. Okay, so they're just setting up for a knockout. Um, I really don't want to research this hand. Um, but what other choice do I have? If I Miraculous Duo, I lock myself out of Lunar Fall. Uh, you know what? It, this is, again, this is... We all know what deck this is. I'm going to Great Catcher the... No, I'm not going to do that. This is a Lunar Fall deck. The whole reason I play Lunar Fall is to take out things like that. Uh, and I can do it this turn, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, I'll ditch the escape board, get Lunology X. You know, if I build a deck around a card like this, you're going to see that card do something. And I do have to make sure they can't do anything crazy, right? They can put, they can do 250. That's it. They can do 250. Well, Star Shield would be fun, but I'm just going to Lunar Fall. And game automatically did it. Okay. And next turn, I could do something like... Um, I can't Tag Purge. They don't have any Tag Teams. I could... I could get the Solgaleo and Lunalogy X and knock out the Heatran. Ah, that's fine. I think I play a Reset Stamp. Um, but if this is the final game of the video, which it probably will be, as long as things go smoothly the rest of the way here, uh, I'll just let you know that I'm going in chronological order, so Mewtwo and Mew will be featured a few more times in Ultra Prism, because, you know, I'm not going to build a Stage 2 GX deck unless I have to. Uh, for things like Lunala and Solgaleo, you're going to see Mewtwo and Mew. Oh man! Alright, well, I don't know why they conceded. They... All, of, all that would have happened is I would have won. Uh, I'll go to game three. I'll see what happens. All right. Win, lose, draw, misplay, concede, whatever. This will be the last game of the video. Uh, and to finish up my thought, lots of Mewtwo and Mew decks coming up and lots of Malamar decks coming up. You know, Malamar was from Forbidden Light. So I'll be doing a few Malamar decks once I start that block of cards. Uh... Just it, Mewtwo and Mew makes sense going first.
All right, so I'm going second again. Um, I guess. No, I kind of want to. I want the Jirachi to go down. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion this is Rowlet and a little inner Jugular, and for some reason they went first. But maybe they panicked because the clock was getting angry at them. Um, but yeah, more Malamar decks in the future. You know, Giratina's from Lost Thunder, but you won't see Giratina in my Lost Thunder block because the only thing that Giratina really goes with other than Malamar, I have Rillaboom, other than Malamar is the Cofagrigus, but that deck would fail miserably, so I'm probably going to build it just because who doesn't enjoy seeing me build terrible decks? You know, crazy thing that happens sometimes is I actually win. That's even weirder. You know, I'll test it like 10 games, it'll go horribly, and then all of a sudden I just start winning. Okay, so you're definitely going down. Um, Cherish Ball for... Unfortunately, I can't knock out the Rillaboom V this turn, as much as I would like to. Okay, so there's some very important things that are prized right now. Uh, so that's interesting. I'll definitely just get the Mew to the Mew. Wow, so I'm gonna have to rely on. Okay, this is this is not great. Okay. I think I'm just gonna Marnium. I want to save the Quick Ball and the Dedenny for later. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Wow, this is this is rough. I wanted to Star Search. Okay, so Vitality Ban. Is that going to come into play? I mean, Rillaboom VMAX has 330 HP. But if I if I use this Mysterious Treasure, then I'm going to be good on Malamar. So, yeah, Lunalo Prism is essentially there. You know, I get a really bad starting hand. It's just, like, energy and not much else. You know, I just start energy, not much else. I have to research or Dedenny the hand. Uh, all my energy's down, I still don't get NK, and then Lunala Prism Star, I use Full Moon Star. For each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that can be really good. I would have used it game one if the prizes worked out. You know, if I hadn't started that to Denny, uh, it probably would have seen some play in game one, just because benching the Malamars was not going to be a good idea. And Lunala Prism, you know, after the Full Metal Wall, you know, just depending how things worked out, it could have been really good. Uh, so they're setting up. That's not great. Okay, this is this is great. Um, oh, I was just thinking, well, if I Night Watch them, then that won't be fun for them. Uh, but I don't have that option. Okay, so pretty much all I can do this turn is Lunar Fall if things work out. And... Things may work out. I'm gonna have to do Denny, that's for sure. Uh, I really don't want to lose the boss's orders. Um, okay. Did that in the reverse order. I should have grabbed like a Jirachi and gotten rid of Jirachi. Well, how important is knocking this thing out? Pretty important, right? Because it's almost set up. I can do really don't want to lose that bosses, but, you know, here we are. You know, my other option is that, yeah, I don't have a two energy attacker. Uh, it's pretty much just star search turn one and go from there. Uh, yeah, so I'll just grab the Jirachi, but losing these two hurt. Uh, and putting a Dedenny down, that hurts too. So that's perfect. I, yeah, this is a perfect hand. Uh, okay, so I gotta do that. I have to attach, and then I have to figure out which card is the most expendable. The switch, or the escape board. Big Charm will be good, because they can do 280 as a VMAX. Switch, Marnie. I mean, I'm taking two prizes. Sure, see you, Marnie. Who needs who needs supporters in a in a Pokemon card deck, right? What are supporters good for? Just drawing cards? Nobody needs cards in the Pokemon trading card game. 
especially when you're going for a lunar fall on a card that was released what three four years ago where is it uh oh lunar fall yeah uh sun and moon base set was released three years ago three years three and a half years ago february February 2017, and then it was reprinted a year later in Ultra Prism. That's why it's still standard legal. So this card was, it's very old. Uh, it's not great in today's meta, but then of course, Pokemon V come around and it's like, oh, you're not a Pokemon GX. I can knock you out. And it just, it would be nice if it was VMAX as well. Like if it just said, knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon that isn't a GX, that would be insane. Uh, Cause then you could do it with VMAX, but unfortunately not. Okay, so I'm just going to light of the, or Cosmic Burn. I was gonna say light of the protector. Light of the protector is the GX attack. Uh, and the amazing thing about Cosmic Burn is that this Pokemon can't use Cosmic Burn during your next turn. You know, a lot of cards will say like this Pokemon can't attack. But with Cosmic Burn, you just can't use that singular attack next turn. I can do anything else. So I can use Moon Geist Beam or Crushing Punch. Uh, but yeah, Moon Geist Beam. This attack is horrible. The defending Pokemon can't be healed during your opponent's next turn. Uh, I don't think that has anything uh, to do with Mallow and Lana, because Mallow and Lana switches your Pokemon to the bench, and that should negate the effect. And that's just a win. So I'm pretty happy with that. You saw three wins with a Lunala GX deck in summer 2020. Uh, yeah, I bet you never thought you'd be seeing that. You saw three wins, three Lunar Fall. That's really good. Uh, I'll leave a, a list, or I'll leave a, the list in the description. I'm so used to saying leave a link because I was doing all the Limitless decks, but I'll just leave the list in the description. Go ahead and build it, make some changes, let me know how you do. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.